of giantpumpkins.co.nz. How's it going? Today I'm in the kitchen and uh, I'm going to show you what you can do with some of these miniature pumpkins. I always tell people that these are very edible and that is true, but I just haven't got around to actually making anything with them. So today we're going to do something really simple. Basically uh, coming up with a dessert type of uh, recipe today. And it's basically these brown sugar, cinnamon and a bit of butter. I've pretty much covered pretty much the whole thing, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Uh, in the coming weeks, I'll move on to some uh, different recipes you can do uh, using up all these miniature pumpkins. Especially helpful if you've got 39 of them, like I do. Okay, so here we are with our miniature pumpkins, and the first thing we need to do is remove the top. Now, you need a pretty nice uh, sharp knife because these can be a little bit tough. Um, if you're a bit little, um, it's a good idea to get some uh, parental help. But basically, you just want to cut the top of your pumpkin off. There we go. Sort of looks a bit like that. I could probably have cut that one a bit uh, deeper down, but that's okay. We'll see how this one goes. Knife goes in. Go around, go around. There we go, as you can see there's the inside of the pumpkin. Now the next step is to scoop that out. To scoop that out I just use a uh, teaspoon is what I've found to be the easiest thing. Now this is an ideal time to save these seeds if you want to grow them for next season, you can just dry them out. Um, drying out these seeds is pretty much the same process as the giant pumpkins. So. Uh, if you want to know how that works, just um, go to the website, go to the how-to, and check out saving seeds. So I'll just scoop them out. There's quite a few contained in here, and you want to you want to get them all out. You want it a nice, clean, clean pumpkin. But as you can see, I mean, one pumpkin produces that many seeds, and if you've got quite a few pumpkins, then there's no shortage of seeds to share with people. Make sure you get all these stringy, stringy bits out. Um, you want sort of like a smooth, smooth surface in there. I'd do, um, I'd do one pumpkin per person, if you were doing a dinner party or something. Um, if you're wondering what the whistling is, that is Budgie the bird. He has um, seen me in the kitchen and he would like a piece of cheese. And uh, he'll get a piece if he's lucky later on. So once you've mounted your 30 grams of butter, Put two tablespoons of brown sugar in it and one teaspoon of cinnamon and mix all that up. Now it's time to get that mixture in the bowl and put it in your pumpkins. Once it's in there, brush it around or just swirl it around the pumpkin like that. I'm going to use a brush and make sure you get all of it all over in there. Do the edge um, and also brush the underside of the top. Your oven's uh, been preheated at 180 degrees. You want to put it in a roasting dish or something with a deep base. And once in there, you want to put about uh, an inch or 25 mil mils of water um, in the pan at the bottom. Now the pumpkins need to stay in the oven uh, at that temperature for 40 to 50 minutes, so it does take quite a while to cook them. Just check on them and make sure they're nice and tender. When they're finished, take the lid off, and uh, you can even serve them with a scoop of ice cream and I'll show you what they look like in a second. So after about 45 minutes, these pumpkins are done. I've checked them, they're nice and tender, they smell great, they look good. Now there's a bit of extra liquid in the bottom, um, probably a bit too much of the butter mixture. That's okay, I'm just gonna tip that out before I serve it. I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna put a scoop of ice cream in them and we're gonna try them out and see what they're like. So there we have it, we've uh, made some sweet dessert type miniature pumpkins, I need to get a spoon. Um, I guess the proof is in the pudding. So, let's see what this is like. 
They're very, very tender. Um, the skin just falls apart. It's quite interesting. It's um, the earthiness of the pumpkin, the sweetness of the sugar, and the cinnamon and butter, and um, with ice cream. It's definitely different. It's very good, and it's nice and easy. So I think you should give it a go. Um, check out the recipe on the website. And as always, I'm Sam from GiantPumpkins.co.nz.